Uh, please welcome a very special guest. Uh, we're very pleased to have him in the studio. Go crazy for pop star Adam Lambert! <laughs> Welcome to New Zealand. It's yeah. good to be here. You're, you're a big pop international superstar. Am I? Yeah, you are. Oh, cool. <laughs> Talk us through the bad life decisions that led you to this moment, being on our show. Uh, well, I, you know, I got four hours of sleep last night after doing a concert, so here I am, no filter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like it. Yeah, have at me. So you're a massive international superstar, and you came second on American Idol. Do you ever sit back some days and go, I wonder what life would be like if I'd actually won it? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I sometimes think though, like, what would have it been like if I didn't go on the show? Uh, what, what the would heck be would I be doing? I don't know. And like, would I be in debt? Probably. I mean, would, I don't know if I, I wouldn't be flipping burgers. I don't know. You, okay. you got a lot of fans. They're called Glamberts. Yep. You, you happy with that name? I love the Glamberts. I, I think I gave it to them essentially. Oh, did you? I what think about so. the Glamborghinis? Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard of them. Yeah. The Beef and Lamberts. No. 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 The, the, the Adam's apples. I like that one. Yeah, yeah I like that one. You can change. You can I, the, the, the New Zealand Glamberts have named themselves the Glitter Tribe. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a group within the group. Do you ever? Because you've got a lot of crazy fans, I mean, or enthusiastic fans. <laughs> have you? <laughs> have you? Have you ever like? come into a situation and go, oh my god, what are you doing in my house or in my bed or anything? Well, there was there was a time where I was leaving a gig and I was getting into the car that was parked in the back. The driver was, you know, the two doors were open and I got into the back passenger seat and on the other side of the passenger seat there was a fan in the car. She had slipped in like stealth under the radar. Well, in your car. Yeah, and, and we didn't, we hadn't left yet and I look over and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Hi, who are you? You know, and she was literally she was like s sitting like this and staring straight ahead at the seat behind or in front of her and not making eye contact with her. Because oh, really? I think she figured like if I don't look at him, he won't see me. <laughs> and that was our booking agent, and that's how we got him on the show. <laughs> she's, still, she's still waiting in your car out of the back. Good move. You have great style. Um, uh, have you had any wardrobe malfunctions though? Has anything ever gone wrong? You know, I mean, I just saw the thing that happened to Lenny. Oh, Lenny Kravitz has little Lenny sort of pop out on stage. I don't know yeah. if it was so little. Oh, really? Uh, okay. No, but I've had a pair of leather trousers rip on stage before, but oh. I, I don't free ball, so it was all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when it was like the backside. Because you wear a lot of spikes and things. Have you ever taken... I did. I'm not lately. Right, but yeah, have you given up the spikes? Did you ever take anyone's eye out with the spikes? You know, Brian May, I wore some spikes the first First time I went out with Queen about three and a half years ago, and they were really big like this. And one night at the end of the show, he gave me a hug, and he was like, "Oh, oh!" <laughs> <laughs> like I think it kind of grazed him like, right about here. And for the rest of the time we were on stage, he was, he'd be like, <laughs> hey, uh, "Can we have a quick uh, game of uh, quick fly, true or false, from Wikipedia with you?" Your Wikipedia is very accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. wealth of nearly correct information on the internet. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. You're naturally a redhead. Sir, sorta. Sorta? It's, it's, it's like toasted something. It's not like red red. It's not like Ed Sheeran red. Strawberry blonde? It's a strawberry. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right. A toasted chestnut. <laughs> yeah. uh, is it true you once uh, punched me a Beyonce in the <laughs> at a party? <laughs> <laughs> I, think you, I think you just made that one up. <laughs> I don't think that one. No. Can I say this uh, on behalf of New Zealand? <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Why would you never punch a <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that one's false, guy. Okay. Okay. So Adam, we know uh, that you're here to promote your new album. You're here to promote your show next year, and uh, you performed last night, which means your voice is a little shot, isn't it? I, and I woke up very early. So, the combination yeah. is like, it's not, it's brutal. Yeah, and we were hoping that you were going to be able to perform on our well, program Well, you hope drum. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> Dream, dreams are free, Adam. Dreams are free. Uh, but we will, uh, in a roundabout way, make Adam Lambert perform in a game we call Carry Off Key. Grab the mic, Adam. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.